Breaker, breaker, one niner. This is the hot spuds rolling hard in the big rig. Do you copy? I gotta back off the hammer and bring this bucket of bolts over at the next chew and choke. Grab myself a cup of mud and have a 10 100. Yeehaw! <laughs> Hello there all you Tubies and Tubeds, Specs are here and welcome back to Retro Specs and today I have something very special to show you. This build is epic and it took some time to build I can tell you. Now I missed the 4th of July, I didn't have a video up for it for our uh, cousins over the Atlantic. Uh, so today I have something very American, very huge and very epic. Look at this bad boy. Oh yes, this is the big rig. Well, that's what I'm calling it. And there is Spudsy, or as he likes to be known, the Hot Spuds. That's his handle. And he's sitting there in the driving seat of this bad boy. And let him just jump out and let's show you around. So if I press the one key, we'll open the door and jump him out of there. Oh, let's get down there. Turn that welding tool out of your hand. And here it is. Now, I apologize for the lag because there is a little bit in this world. Um, and this is the version without suspension. As you can see, there's no suspension. That is to try to reduce the lag a little bit. I have got a version, which I will show you later, on a terrain level, would you believe, instead of a flat world. And that does have suspension, otherwise it doesn't be, doesn't travel over the terrain at all. So I'll show you that a little bit later on, but prepare for the lag on that one. So let's just shut the door there, and let's just show you around this thing. So it's a beauty. In the red, white, and blue, very American colors it's a wonder to behold and it did take quite a lot of time to build this thing now, as you can see the sleeper unit on the back of this is huge um, it's a monster this is a beast of a truck so we've got the hitch on the back there I don't know if I'll ever get a trailer to actually hook up to this thing because um, it's already experiencing too much lag I think so trying to hook a trailer up to this is probably not a good idea I'll take you for a quick spin before I show you inside. So if I just jump Spudsy back in there, uh, I'll press the one key to shut that. I can press the three key just quickly to open up the engine compartment. And you can see there is a rather large engine, somewhat inspired by Otto's V8, but a lot, lot, lot bigger. Now this engine is available as a download in the workshop as just the engine on its own, so you can put it into your own builds. And uh, also I will be putting the entire rig itself on the workshop for those who want to try this out and bear in mind you will have to have a half decent computer to run this because it does create a lot of lag. Uh, I'll quickly jump out here and I'll show you the front of the engine as well because I can open the grill on the front there if I can just squeeze out. Come on Spud, squeeze out. Oh he's stuck. Get out of there. This time. Oh no, he can't get out. Why is it when you make a video, things always go wrong? Spudsy, you need to get out. Now, get out this time. Oh, he's not having any of it. Maybe if I shut the door for a second. Can I get out the front there? Aha, we got out. There you go. If you persevere, you will succeed. Uh, so, I can open this up. And you can see the front of the engine as well. And it is a beast of an engine. Now, I know it isn't like a proper 18-wheeler engine because I don't really know what one of those looks like I've not got experience of that however I made it look quite chunky quite powerful I think you'll agree it is quite a beast of an engine so looking around then I'll shut that just quickly you've seen the hitch on the back uh, you've seen quite a lot of the detail on the side here I can jump in the passenger seat and I can shut that with a one key as well from sitting in the passenger seat so let me just show you that so one key again, shuts the door. I'll jump back into the driving seat and take this thing for a spin. So if I can back off a little bit, and bear in mind this is quite big, so I can't back off any further than that. Let's shut that bonnet, or the hood, as you would say. And uh, here it goes. It is quite fast, I think. However, with the lag and the frame rate dropping, it's hard to tell. Um, we might get a little bit of a better idea when I take it into a terrain world, but I'll just sort of drive it around for a little bit. If I left a... A lift over there. Looks like I've left the lift up over there. Um, but yeah, so there it is. It drives quite well. The front wheels sort of get a little bit freaky from time to time, but it is pretty cool nonetheless. 
So let me then show you around the inside because this is where things get very special. I've kept the colour scheme with the red, white and blue and uh, well, where shall I start? There's so much, so much, so much. Uh, I think we'll start here. So I have an under driving area where you can see the back of the engine if you need to do some maintenance on that and you've got some storage space so we've got some carrots and some cucumbers there and we've got a few bearings and a cooler unit so that's what we've got under there oh stuck we have I shut that we have a microwave over here so obviously you're on the road you haven't got time or to prepare something really good so you're either going to stop at a truck stop or you're going to grab yourself a micro meal so we have the microwave there and we have a couple of cupboards here with some tins and bottles and jars in so plenty of food to go with so this is somewhat of a house on wheels you could live in here for a while uh, but if you were having something to eat then i think well where would you sit i mean it, there's nowhere really to sit. You've got your food, but you've got nowhere unless you're going to sit and eat it up there. Oh, no, you don't have to sit and eat it up there. Because if I press this button here, something magical happens. So we have a raised table area with seating. You can even have guests around. And, yeah, so there you go. We have somewhere to sit and eat our meals. We don't have to sit in the driver's seat. Let's shut that down again. There's another button up here. This will bring down the staircase which will then take us up to the sleeping area so we have a bunk up here a uh, double mattress uh, TV yes it doesn't do anything it's just to show it's on or off uh, and we have the lovely sort of sunlights sort of coming through there and nice little windows sunroofs there's one there as well um, and at the back then because it's got everything else it might as well have one it has a toilet and we can sit on that and Spudsy could press the one key you can have a little bit of privacy there there you go uh, do your business Spuds I know your toes are poking out the grill there finished finished there you go jump him out so yeah this is a little bit of a special build and like you like I say it took a long time to build I'm sure you can probably imagine I think there's thousands of metal pieces alone without everything else it is a massive massive build you don't realize how big some of the builds are until you look at the workshop and it tells you how many blocks were used but this is a huge one um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump in here take it for another spin and then i will load in a terrain world and the suspension version of this so you can get an idea of how it looks with that so just bear with me and we'll jump straight to another world. Okay then guys, so here it is. This is the big rig with suspension. As you see at the front here, we have quad suspension. And, and uh, on the rear, I think I've just gone for single. Uh, because the lag's bad enough as it is. Uh, double wheels all the way along the back there. And uh, yeah. This thing I can move around obviously quite freely now I've loaded it in from a lift. However, when I take this off, you need to prepare yourself for the lag that is about to happen. So let's reduce this down as low as I can to the floor so I don't get too much of a collision when it drops. And we'll take it off there. And already the frame rate, you will notice, has dropped. So let's jump into the driver's seat and let's see how this thing rides. Now it looks slightly different to the other one because I haven't... Oh. Bug splat. I told you it was a big build. Too epic for the world. Absolutely too epic for the world. Oh, so here we are again. We're back after the bug splat. I told you this was an epic build. Um, let's jump back in there. This time, hopefully, we will get to drive it around. Now, as I said, it looks slightly different to how it did before because I haven't done a few of the updated parts that I did on the other one. So the look is slightly different. You might not notice it, but there's a couple of bits across the front there. Um, but this one does have suspension. And like I say, it lags out somewhat. But if it didn't have any suspension, it couldn't get over the bumps. Now, it struggles as it is because that table there getting stuck. See if I can back this back up. I should have not tried to go over that bit there. You can see those suspensions on the rear trying their damnedest not to get stuck on that. But let's back it off and take it a little bit more shallow. It's quite a monster to be trying to drag over. A bump. And it isn't even that much of a bump, but obviously that table does come down a little bit underneath and um, it does get caught. So there you go. It cleared it. And as you see, it drives quite well. 
only the frame rates drop because my computer isn't the best in the world you might find that if you load this into your own world it might be better on your PC depending on how your PC can handle this sort of thing but my PC is a little bit old I am in desperate need of an upgrade hopefully I will get one soon um, and that might account for some of the lag I'm experiencing but the rest is down to this build being absolutely huge so there it is that is the big rig I hope you guys like it. So it was something I built, like I say, I wanted to do this for the 4th of July. I didn't get it out in time because I had a lot of other things that I, was on, I had to do and I never got around to it. So I have released it now. I hope you guys like it. There will be a download link for the vehicle itself in the workshop, both the suspension version and the non-suspension version. So you can try both of those out. I won't include a world file because realistically there isn't a world it's just the vehicle itself. I've just loaded it into different sort of blank canvases, if you like. So please, by all means, try it out. See what you think. Let me know. And if there's anything else you'd like to see me build, of course, add that in the comments below as well. So if you like this video, then why not spank the hell out of that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe for more retrospects. And until the next time, I'll say see you soon. And bye for now. Keep on rolling.